hey everyone welcome to another episode so in this one we'll be talking about what are nodes and edges in langchain so basically currently we are on my repo this is langgraph adaptive rag where i have some examples uh, related to rag and if you go to the source we can find a distributed systems rag here and if i go to ds rag typescript file so i have implemented my uh, rag and langchain basically in typescript so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna show you like we will gonna build this in uh, the entire playlist and this is divided into multiple episodes so we will be concentrating uh, bit by bit so in each video i'll try to cover some pieces uh, currently in this one i wanted to like just show you folks what a graph or a lang graph looks like so this is basically a graph architecture what we have done so if you have familiar if you have familiarity with the graph previously in data structure and algorithm it will be easy for you to understand so basically what here it is that you all know that graph is basically a collection of nodes which are connected to each other via edges right so this is uh, very similar to it so currently what we are doing is that in this graph we have created a new state graph in which we have passed a graph interface so this graph interface is nothing but a common state which will be passed from one node to another and it will be available for each and every node so that nodes can make changes within it and this will gonna persist so if a particular node say node n1 makes a particular change in this graph interface or in this state and it is passed on to the another node then another node will gonna say will gonna able to query or will gonna able to get those changes which has been made by the previous node so whatever changes made by the node and if it is passed on to the another node that change gonna stay so that's the whole purpose of graph so we, what we'll do is that like in this shared interface what we're gonna do is that we're gonna store common resources which is basically being used by multiple nodes so graph interface is there apart from that we have first declared all our nodes by adding them right so there is one node which is called retrieve docs we have added it so it is uh, by the name uh, or basically we have labeled this node as retrieve docs and we have added this here so you can if we if i click here you can see this uh, method is basically defined here retrieve docs all right another is create model so again similarly this is also defined above uh, same goes to grade document and generate right so this is uh, basically how my graph looks like once we have declared all our nodes i have moved forward and added edges and conditional edges right so what the concept is that when you implement a lang graph you already get a start and an end pointer meaning that you a graph always gives you from where you want to start your control flow right so here i have added my first edge that starts from the start node and it is from the start it is first calling the retrieve docs node now whatever logic is happening in the retrieve docs once that is being completed there is an edge which is directing the control flow from retrieve docs to the create model all right and then whatever is happening in the create model then the control flow is moved from create model to create document because there is an edge from create model to the grade document right and then there is a concept of conditional edge now conditional edge works differently so conditional edge uh, what happens with conditional edge is that whenever there is an input conditional edge performs some operation and on the basis of the condition it gonna route the control flow in two direction or more than two direction maybe right so here what it is doing is that it is from the grade document node it is being passed to has relevant docs node and this is a conditional edge here so if the relevant has relevant documents node returns a yes then it is moving ahead to the generate node if it is uh, saying no then it is ending the graph and that makes sense because if we don't have any relevant document so then there is no point of generating the answer from the LLM model right and if we have the relevant document then we can go ahead and generate right if no then there is the graph will end right away right after that we are again adding an edge once we generate the mod generate the answer from the model we are grading that particular answer that whether that answer is uh, relevant to the question or not right and once that is done once the answer is graded we are ending the graph so that is the entire graph structure we're gonna build this like in this playlist we're gonna build entire graph here we're gonna uh, create each and every node we're gonna understand how these nodes are being created right how you retrieve a dog from a vector 
uh, memory store how you're gonna create a model how gonna invoke the model with the relevant context and the question how you get the answers and how you use that answer to understand whether that particular answer is relevant to the question or not so that is the entire thing which you are doing here once the graph has been created we compile the graph with the check pointer so check pointer the memory saver is because we want to save the state between the two nodes or between the entire graph execution that's why it is here and once we have compiled the graph it is present here we're gonna invoke it right we're gonna invoke it with the question so we like define the state with a question here right and we call it and this will initiate or basically will trigger the graph execution and after that we're gonna return this will return the interface so at the end i'm gonna just um, show you folks the graph interface it will it is defined at the top so this is the graph interface what it holds it holds the shared resources used by multiple nodes so first is the question so question is basically what question we are asking or what question we want to ask to the model generated answer is basically what answer the model is returning right in the string format and the document is what is the list of or what is the context which we are passing into the model on the basis of which the model can answer the question right that's why we're building a rag we want that we want our lm model to be grounded on those documents and then the final is the model a or the open ai model this model has been used at multiple places in the nodes that's why we are putting that putting it in a common resource so this is not uh, initialized initially this has just been declared we are going to initialize it in the create model node and i'll show you folks how this is getting initialized or how you are going to work with it so that is the entire graph structure which i'm talking about here